at her again. Uh, I was looking around on YouTube. Lots of people making balloon videos of all sorts. You know, some of these get like millions of views. I think my most watched video is like 250,000 views. So, um, and maybe mine aren't very interesting. Anyway, uh, I've noticed that most of the balloon popping videos are people blowing up balloons until they burst in their face. And, and I do that too. And I, I kind of thought about it. I said, why do people make lots of videos about that? You know, okay, it's fun to do. All right? I get that. I, I didn't think it would be that much fun to do until I started doing it. And I kind of, hey, this is kind of fun. Um, but I also thought, you know what? This has got to be the absolute easiest video to make. But really, all you need is a balloon. You blow it up. Boom, the video's over. Um, you know, stop the finish is very simple, very simple and easy. Um, you know, and I do things that are a little more complicated, like double stuff novelty balloons. But anyway, there's just things that I think about from time to time. I want to do something that I haven't done for a while. I got this old this bag. This is, a, if you look at the label, that, oh yeah, that's top tech. But it's an old star bag, so these have been sitting around for a while. And it's a 24 inch lavender. characteristics of tough text balloons when they're getting old is they kind of start to discolor a little bit in different areas um, and that's what the discoloration around the neck so it doesn't have a rotten rubber smell um, that's a good sign but it still blew up plenty big we have all the way here Okay, well that's absolute max for a 24 inch top tax. Hmm. Can I talk about blowing up balloons until they explode in my face and then I just blow one up and not have it explode in my face? I just wanted to blow it out. It's time to blow it out. Yeah, there's a lot of ASMR sound effects, you know, tapping and whatnot. I've done that too. Um, I don't quite see why it's so entertaining. I mean, some people enjoy that. Some people like balloons in general. Now, I do pop balloons sitting on them, sapping on them. Um, YouTube seems to have strange ideas about that. Um, a lot of my um, videos where I pop balloons by either sitting on them or stepping on them get flagged as adult content. Um, they don't get well, every once in a while they even get age restricted, but when they're flagged as adult content, you don't get to see any ads and I don't get any, well, revenue for them. Now, I need to tell you about revenue. Is I really, I make money at this, but it's really only a negligible amount. Um, maybe $30 a month. It's not that much. It doesn't cover the cost of the balloons. So, not by any stretch of the imagination. Um... I think in five years of doing this, I've made maybe a thousand dollars total. Um, but yeah, what is this? This is six years actually now. But I haven't even made a thousand dollars in six years. I, I'm absolutely not doing it for the money, but you know, every little bit helps. You know, that's why I have that super thanks button down there. You can click that and give thanks in the form of a tip or whatnot if you'd like. Um, 
So far, no one has ever done that. In looking at uh, kind of, you know, the discolorations, I think, I think the proper term is church window defect or something like that. It's kind of, a really fine balloon, a really fine color. I think it's 24 inch half tracks were always kind of a, kind of a strange shape. I don't know if maybe the newer ones are a different shape. I have noticed a difference with the 17 inch. The 17 inch ones are definitely a different shape. Um, where can we put this where it's safe and not going to get popped on something? Let me go get a coffee can. And of course, my balloon. Too big. Yeah, and this is kind of a nice handy thing if you like these big balloons and you want something, a base balloon or something, just an, any old quite old metal coffee can, peel the label off, give it a coat of paint and there you go. Um, it has to be the kind um, that you peel off the lid, otherwise the ones that you open with a can opener, they have a sharp edge and they'll pop the balloon. The ones with the peel off though, um, they're actually very well suited for holding balloons. All right, well, let me see. I do think I'll find a new stock 24-inch uh, top tax. Okay, so... This is a new style bag, of course. Um, contrast that with the old style bag. Um, Top text does not use date codes. All text uses the date codes. They've been using the date codes for quite a while now. I think they started in the 90s. Um, they still have them. All right, 24 inch top hat, plum purple. Ooh. About max, you could probably go a little more, but you know, Pop. All right, let's try another one. Explode in my face. All right, well, that's not near as tight, big, tightly inflated as that one, but I guess by and large they're pretty much the same. They haven't changed that much.
and you can see how much more overinflated the lavender one is compared to the purple one, which self destructed. Um, hmm. I'm starting to feel pretty good about the old stock uh, half pack. Even though it, ha it has, I don't know if you can see it. Um, a wonderful balloon, isn't it? And they're all so good. Didn't land where I wanted it to land, but you know. What else? We do something else? We got those. I have balloon bits in my hair. Boy! Oh, um, 24 inch top tacks. Crystal green. Crystal emerald green. up too big that's why they explode on you I've heard that a few times um pretty obvious huh? that's funny that lavender one that's old stock been sitting around for years um that blew up just fine um uh oh somebody is knocking at my door Somebody telling me it's time for dinner. Oh, well, I will put back this. Um, hmm. All right, so let's compare here. Here we are. What do you think? Really about the same size. Um, the drip, that's that dot at the top of the balloon, is more pronounced. It's a little bit there. Um, Jackamex is notorious for having dot drips, um, which kind of bottles up some people when they make balloon arches. Um, this one's really, even though they're about, about the same size, and um, the neck is much burnt up much more. Let me drop that one on the lavender than the uh, green one. Uh, this one feels a bit more pliable than this one here. And that could just be because this is old, old stock. They do get sore. That's one of the first signs of old stock. You know, there is the discoloration, of course. Um, and, and then they get sticky, and then they get smelly, and they stick together in the bag, and then you blow them up, and then what happens? Nothing. They just explode before they even inflate. Um, we've had that happen too, haven't we? Uh, that's why it's always best to use up your balloons before they get to that point. Oh, come on, what's not to like about this? All right, here we go, the big toss. And, well, it didn't make it all the way. And that didn't make it all the way either. At least it didn't pop. At least not yet. Um, that's 24 inch cool, uh, top tax. <laughs> or 24 
24 inch collar checks have been gone for years, no longer available. People have been looking around for substitutes, but I know a lot of people really like the 24 inch collar checks. And I have a few left. Um, they're getting to the point where it's uh, use them or throw them away. Uh, I guess they'll stop using them. One more plum purple. Plum purple is only it, it's slightly blue. Um, it's a little reflective, not like, it's not like a crumb balloon, that's for sure. Um, but that one filled up pretty big, didn't I? I got a 17 inch crystal purple and you, you can see the difference between the opaque purple and crystal purple. I've always liked the top tax crystal purple over the vortex crystal purple because it's a little bit brighter. I'm glad that plum purple. So I was kind of comparing the plum purple to crystal purple. Even though the crystal purple is a 17 inch and of course this plum purple is a 24 inch. Hmm. I don't know if I have a Cortex purple, but well, I don't have a Cortex pur pur uh, purple handy, but I do have a 17 inch Tough Tax plum purple. <laughs> That's Russian, by the way, it means well, something like that. Okay, well, something else popped. Yeah, 17 inch. And this one's not near as big and plated as that one. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, this might be a new thing with uh, Tough Packs crystals. That they're, it's definitely, I think it's more translucent than they have been in the past, but it's still a really nice color purple. And they're blowing up bigger. Um, we got lots of neck left over. Um, and you do with whatever. So, if there's changes at Tough Tax, um, they are definitely for the better. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you had as much fun watching as I did making the video. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.
Don't be afraid to try new things. Don't be afraid to experiment. You always have yourself to impress. And as always, have fun out there. I hope my dinner's not cold.